It's it's a breath of fresh air to see a conservative who's not so deluded that they think that they're winning the culture war. Let's put it that way. Uber Soy, if you're watching this, I would love to have a discussion with you about your ideas. I think you're an honest guy, and I just want to talk. I literally just want to talk. Okay, so we're gonna go over this guy named Uber Soy that was suggested in the Discord server. Now, if you would like to suggest content, all you gotta do is join my Discord server, which you can do with the link in the YouTube description. I've been told it's not working. Uh, if anybody's having that problem, please comment below. I would love to know so I can fix it. Um, but if it is working, get over to the Discord server, put your suggestions in content suggestions, and then I may or may not go over them depending on my mood. Um, if you are on, in the live stream, or you can, uh, Dubsy is also doing a thing where he, uh, sorry, they add, um, a, a thing you can scan. So you can scan that on your phone now to join the Discord server. A bar, uh, not a barcode, QR code. So you can use the QR code on the screen as well, which may be here, or here, possibly here. I don't know, wherever Dubsy put it. But, um, you can also join the Discord server by typing exclamation Discord in the site chat. Only in the site chat. Okay, so there's this guy named Uber Soy. That was suggested in the content suggestions. And the first thing I want to go over is, well, first let's look at the description. Welcome. This is a place where I talk about culture, politics, psychology, and other things. Sometimes I do meme videos. Sometimes I respond to other people. To sum up my belief, I'm a cultural white right winger, but I usually score somewhere in the center for political tests. Oh, of course. Though I don't subscribe to any ideology in particular, and perhaps it's for the better. So admitted cultural right winger, but also like hinting at the fact that they might or might not be a set interest we really don't know when i take the political test i am bottom left bottom left the, the, this this way for you guys this way for me bottom left okay i pull no punches so anyway let's take a look at their channel trailer i watched a little bit of this and the first thing that struck me was um gotta make sure that we emphasize that he is a big boy getting seventy-eight thousand views on a video from four years ago Vosh Alden's number moment. Survey of expert opinion on intelligence, intelligence research, experts background, controversial issues in the media. Okay. Why has there never been a matriarchy? There have been, we're just racist and we don't recognize them as like real cultures, quote unquote. A right wing argument against veganism, veganism and its social consequences. Reviewing the scientific black pill from a critical perspective. I don't know what that is. Some pieces of advice for right-wing content creators discussing strategy. Oh, I'm sure that he's got great advice. Cultural Marxism, a deep explanatory analysis and critique. Debunked. Leftism as a mental disorder, a biosocial analysis. That sounds like an interesting one. It's hard to leave, read a lot of these. New political ideology, why the left is not progressive. Right-wing right progressivism, explaining progress and reality. Epistoc epistocracy and biorealism. That rolls right off the tongue. Oh god. I really did not think it would be like this. Environmental slash genetic effects on s The dangers of non-heterosexuality. Environmental- I'm not reading all this. What do all of these bread tubers have in common? They're leftists? Adam something is the future of the left. Uh, Adam something's pretty cool, right? The rise and fall of anti-SJW culture. Deep study and critique. Bread tube is dead. Long live bread tube. What? Critiquing Jordan Peterson from the right. Oh god. How the f do you critique Jordan Peterson from the right? Jesus Christ. Only three years ago, exhausted by the BLM riots, I uploaded a video critiquing the growing tide of leftism and its associated dangers. My main aim was to contribute towards shifting the balance in in the ongoing cultural struggle that at the time I believed we were losing and I hadn't I hadn't anticipated that I would sustain working on this channel for such a long period initially I thought I might abandon it within the first year while I stop with this I can't read shit I'm trying to learn about you man this is a horrible channel intro also you should just say this while I worked on this channel, I moved places, graduated university, changed a couple of jobs, and notably enhanced my worldview. Throughout these experiences, I continued to perpetually advance in cultivating a dedicated audience undeterred by the obstacles that emerged along the way. 
I did not stop because the gravity of the challenges we face and the persistent spiritual support from the community had been the driving forces that kept me going. You can use period and I've always tried to figure out once again how to do step by uh, step frame. Thank you. I am not looking. I always forgot how to do that. I am not looking to stop anytime soon either. I will continue to both challenge the left and build a more sustainable right wing ideological pr project that will provide a futuristic vision for not just our side, but the entire political landscape. This guy's very full of himself. I, I don't, I, I'm not doing anything like this. I am just a guy on the internet that talks about people like this sometimes. Okay, that's, that's my thing. I'm not like uprooting sociological, uh, no, I, no, no. <laughs> um, I'm just a guy. I will exert every possible effort to steer the course of history towards the right as I firmly believe that progress and leftism are fundamentally incompatible. Jesus Christ. I hold the belief that in due time, the concept of RWP will transcend my individual con con contributions and my efforts will not be... What's RWP? Right-wing project. Oh, okay. Support this endeavor. By this is so wordy. I thought that leftists were supposed to be the wordy ones. Donate money, follow me on Substack, blah, blah, blah. Thank you for staying with me. That was a horrific channel trailer. Holy shit. That should be a whole video in itself, but it's not going to be. Sorry, Dubsy. We have a long one for you. Longer, I guess. 15 minutes and 47 Someone seconds. Would. It's not that, that bad. This one's called Why Calling Republicans Weird is a 200 IQ Move by the Democrats uploaded three weeks ago. I agree. I think that the weird move was incredible. I think that was a stroke of genius, personally. But uh, I'd like to see what Uber Soy thinks of it. He and his running mate are saying, well, it's just plain weird. <laughs> These guys are just weird. Also, I want to see if this is tongue in cheek. That's where they are. Uh, as weird and creepy. Listen, I'm drunk and need to get off. Okay, have fun. Uh, is JD Vance a super. Hold on. I'm drunk and need to get off. I need to have a good cry, then eat some food. You got a lot of moods going on at once, Cynthia. I respect Weird you. idea from JD Vance. Yeah, it's not. I mean, it's quite weird. They're just plain weird. Just plain weird. Just plain weird. That True. stuff is weird. They come across weird and then they start being weird. Yeah, they're weird. Being a really weird. He's such a weirdo. Donald Trump and his weirdo running mate are True, weird. Very true. Deeply and profoundly weird. They are weird. These Republicans just Tongue being weird. It's just hungry. weird. It's really weird. Republican weirdness goes even deeper. He said a lot of things that are weird. A weird style that he brings. Weird policies. Unless you have never left the Republican bubble, watching okay. that clip made you feel that Democrats are like sure. parrots, repeating one catchphrase after another, and perhaps you're right. But I'm here to tell you that calling conservatives weird is... Look, that's his house. That's his real house. See? See? It's, 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 it's pretty cool. It's probably the greatest political move pulled by the Democratic Party since 2008, and it will most likely cause Trump... The I gotta say... The voice does not match the avatar. Or maybe it does. I don't know. Okay, if it were more aggressive, then it would match the avatar. It's gotta be, you gotta go aggro, man. The election, and here's why. The word weird is both a pejorative and a description of what's uncanny to see in a social setting. Being weird turns other him? people away from you. Say you eat pe- Is this, wait, wait, wait. Is this him? Setting. This is him. Being this is him. Huh, not a bad looking ch chap. Gotta say. It turns other people away okay. from you. Respect. Say you eat pizza like this, or you're at a party and these people have no idea we are losing one IQ point every 10 years. Find yourself constantly talking about a topic that nobody wants to hear, or you feel He looks like you. Uh me if I had hair. Yeah, okay. The need to show off your masculinity, thereby signaling that you're insecure <sighs> about it. Consider <laughs> a situation. Uh, but that's part of the weirdness. Like, why why are you zooming it? Like, that's the, but it's not even the biggest problem with Andrew Tate, by the way. I just watched an amazing, outstanding Shark 300 video, which I will show you right now, actually. Uh, go watch it if you have not, because Shark 300, holy shit. What a guy. It's his most recent upload as of uh, recording this. The Tate bros have a minor problem. Um, incredible video. Just, he's been back. He's been killing it. Please go watch Shark 300. Love that guy. Beautiful. Andrew Tate is a piece of shit, to say the least. ...in which a father and a son are monitoring each other's internet usage to ensure that they are not watching pornography. Now, 
that would legitimately be jealous weird, of shark at least according to 69 percent of americans but let's think what else is weird can a political position be weird? The answer is yes, and at this yes. time, it is the Republicans who find themselves on the receiving end of it. If you look at the graph that is right in front of your face, you, as you can see, see by what this graph. I mean, because regardless <sighs> uh, of what is your Voters stand think GOP actions and quotes are very weird. Insulting women and couples who don't have children. Calling for library books to be banned because you disagree with the content. Giving the federal government the power to monitor pregnancies to ensure that pregnant women who live in states that ban abortion cannot seek abortion in another state where abortion is legal. Saying that Kamala Harris doesn't like Jewish people and calling her husband Doug Emhoff a crappy Jew. A father and a son monitoring each other's... Yeah, that's pretty weird. Claiming that Kamala Harris only recently became a black person, saying immigrants take black jobs. You purposefully mispronouncing Kamala Harris's name, saying that Donald Trump has done more for the black community than any president since Abraham Lincoln. Yeah, that's all pretty good. Cannot weird. deny that just 14% of the population believe that J.D. Vance's stance on abortion is not weird. 14%. Now, I'm already expecting the Republican response, which would be like... Slave labor is as unethical as CP. Only a pedo would say that. Wait, wait, is he agreeing with Vosh on this point? This is an old Vosh talking point, by the way. And uh, very... I, I don't know how I feel about the comparison, to be honest. Like, hey, wait a minute. Are we being called weirdos by the same mentally ill people who prey on minors, do drugs, have constant sex, believe in white privilege, and yada yada We do all yada. those things. I mean- I remember when we did all those things, remember? We did them all at once. Yes. Because if you consult with polls, just 37% of Americans believe that Democrats are weird, even though objectively they are. At least in their personal <laughs> life. True. But when it comes to the public... Yes, we're the weird ones. We're the weird ones who want to be in the uh, the doctor's office while a trans child is receiving care, right? We're the weird ones who want to make sure that uh, trans children uh, don't actually get the care they need, but instead kill themselves, right? That's weird. Perception, it is the Republicans who are on the receiving end of it. For yeah, Praise on minors, meanwhile, shows an Andrew Tate picture. Half of Americans consider them extreme creepy, off-putting, strange, and yes, weird. While a majority of Americans views Democrats as normal. And as the country has been moving Maybe further left to towards, that. this conception of reality is making more and more sense. For The longer the video goes, the more the voice is starting to match the soy jack. I'm kind of uh, getting the rhythm Even here. Even Republicans of today began to view the Republican Party as more weird than it used to be 10 years ago during the time of Mitt Romney and even before that, John McCain. So why is this strange discrepancy in public perception, you may ask, given that Republicans are after all the party of family, of law and order, of social conservative values, of stability, are suddenly losing the image game to a party of queers? Not the queers! The answer is simple. Because the left controls the media, the entertainment industry, and the academia, their lifestyle and the true we control all of, of that what is that's why there's gay people in like every show right right normal has become integrated into the public consciousness thereby becoming the standard while republican rhetoric not so much in fact it has pushed further to the extremes you see at the end of the day it's not a fight of lifestyle versus lifestyle but rather a fight of optics versus optics which frames the public perception of things let me have the media explain it for you harris has run a remarkably focused and disciplined campaign one that seems deliberately light on substance and high on feelings you don't see the dozens of policy papers that were a hallmark of Hillary Clinton's 2016 campaign. Harris has not yet given extensive interviews or done press conferences, which would force her to detail her positions on specific issues. And we have an election to win. Instead, she has introduced herself to the American people in entirely human terms, presenting herself uh, as a dynamic, warm, funny, and optimistic person. You think you just fell out of a coconut tree? It's heavy on vibes, and so far, it seems to be working. Her running mate pick follows the same pattern. She chose the governor of a bluer state, but one who projects an image that has resonated throughout Love that the guy. country. He's great. A folksy, affable, kind-hearted man. The Tim Waltz pick reminds us that sometimes EQ is as important as IQ. 
This is a turning of the tables. Watch Tim Walz's video during his first campaign for governor, giving voters tips on how to fix a burned out headlight harness with an $8 part. It's hard to imagine Barack Obama doing that. We True. vote with our feelings and we judge yeah, rhetoric great. based on optics or the source of where it's coming from. That is whether a person making an argument. Listen, I'm going to take, I'm going to make a hot take here. Okay. Hot take. Vibe checks work. Vibe checks work. I'm sorry. They just do like I, I, Kamala Harris I, for, for the most part, right? Kamala Harris and Tim Walls passed a vibe check by leaps and bounds better than Donald Trump or especially JD Vance. Okay. They just work. You, you are, how you present yourself is often a result of like the things that you espouse, you know, like it's, it's, I don't know. Like, I don't have any data to back this up, but it just seems to work. You have to give people a narrative to follow, not just facts. That's also true. Bernie was also very good at that. And to be clear, like most people who have like you could, okay, it is possible to have bad politics and have a good vibe. Okay. I know plenty of people like that, but generally speaking, when that happens, the bad politics is a result of not being involved in politics, like at all. Like that's usually how that works. The people who are involved in politics, when they have bad politics, their vibes are f like, it's just f but when they have good politics, like me, I, of course I passed the vibe, everybody knows that I passed the vibe check. Um, when they have good politics, they just pass, right? Rooted in our social nature, that's also true. Red dot spotted, where? Is high or low on the social dominance hierarchy. So for example, when a chat cell is talking about white replacement, he's being easily dismissed as an cell. incel freak that he is, but when Elon Musk does the exact same. Okay, okay, we agree that white replacement is an incel thing. Dismissed cool. as an incel freak that he is, but when Elon Musk does the exact same thing, everyone begins to listen to him very carefully and become red pilled in the process. Same thing here. It's not simply that Republican. That's not even necessarily true, by the way. Elon Musk's vibes are also f and I don't think that most. Actually, let's do, a, let's see if there's a poll on this. Uh, poll how Americans feel about Elon Musk. Ooh, ABC News. Then I stepped down his head of Twitter. 15 point margin, 57.5% to 42.5%. Respondent said he should resign from his post atop the social media giant. That's not what I want though. Whopping 61% of US Twitter users and 53% of US adults actually want Musk to stay at the helm. Americans were almost evenly split on their feelings toward how Musk runs the social media giant. 37% said they approve of the way he's operating Twitter. How long ago is this from? This is from 2022, I want a recent one. Elon Musk popularity and fame, 2014. Or sorry, not 2014, 2024. Fame, 96%, popularity, 43%, disliked by 32%. Neutral 21%, Jesus. Those numbers are weird, man. I mean, that's still 53% that are either dislike, that are, wait, disliked by 32, neutral 21. Today.yougov.com. Is this real? I guess the average American just isn't tuned in to what Elon Musk is up to, huh? A November NBC news poll was the first to show more Americans viewing Musk negatively than positively. While Republicans like him by a 53 to eight margin, Democrats dislike him by an even larger 64 to nine margin. Oof. So it looks like most Americans dislike him. Six in 10 Republicans liking him and six in 10 Democrats disliking him. I still don't think that's nearly high enough. He should be way more disliked, but whatever. ...him very carefully and become red pilled in the process. Same thing here. It's not simply that Republican positions are widely unpopular, which they are on a lot of issues. I still can't tell what his stance on, uh, wait, is this, is this JD Vance as a fat guy? That's kind of what it looks like, right? It is that widely unpopular Republican positions being advocated by a weirdo freak like JD Vance make them even less yeah, that is popular, Vance. while otherwise popular Republican positions become even is less AI? appealing than they were before because they are being advocated by is it AI? I don't know. This doesn't look AI to me. It doesn't have the markers of an AI uh, image. It's not like high def enough. I don't think this is AI. Events. Why do you think everyone hated the so-called SJWs on YouTube before massively embracing their ideology at around 2020? Well, because the ideology stopped being advanced by clueless Gen Xers and Millennials on BuzzFeed and some other clueless oh, mainstream thank you, Jim. journal, for being here. and instead began to be advocated by a much more appealing and slightly less cringeworthy bread to. I do agree that it's very unfortunate that like, uh, you you have to okay, so you have to present yourself and your side 
well in order for people to take you seriously. And another part of that, mind you, notice who all the big players are on the left, right? The three biggies. You got Hassan Piker, Destiny, and Vosh. Okay? What do all three of those guys have in common? They're very white-presenting, cishet-presenting dudes. Okay? You have a couple of others that he's got on here, like FD Signifier. But I, I would argue that, like, he's... Is he as big as Vosh? Maybe I'm wrong about this, but I feel like it's mostly like cishet white guys. Cishet presenting white guys. That's a really old H-Bomber guy pick. The man ain't got no hair no more. Oof. Yeah, H-Bomber guy's another huge one. FD is big. Okay. Cirrus never gets noticed. Cirrus needs more views. I love Cirrus. I still think that the left is disproportionately, like the big players on the left are disproportionately, let's say, occupied by, uh, not nearly as bad as the right, mind you, but nonetheless, disproportionately occupied by cishet presenting white guys. Oop. Daddy, can I have some meat? Looks like meat's back on the menu, boys. Ah! Oh, daddy. I mean, sure, we can dismiss them as a bunch of degenerates outright, but at the same time, most sure, of society sure, will dismiss rhinoids as a bunch of creepy chuds. And the facial Because hair, yeah. unless you live somewhere in the village, the behavior that is manifested by bread tube is broadly normalized across the western world and while drug does indeed appears kind of off-putting Kamala Harris and Tim Walls aren't the ones doing drag it's JD Vance who does or at least he used to More yeah there was a lot of controversy with these picks going around I think it's fine to show that like he's a hypocrite I, I support his right to do this I support his right to slay but I, I also think that people were taking it a little too far is this a Nazi? I don't think this is a Nazi. Um, he is getting close to it though. More people should do drag. I've done drag before. I just don't think it's particularly that fun. I don't, I, I don't think it's fun. <laughs> I do think the, I do think doing like an exaggerated femme voice is kind of fun though. I haven't done it in a while. Like, hey girl, what's up? How you doing? But uh, you can see why, I pro you probably can see why I don't do it a lot. Multiple times though. I bet he's still doing it, but behind closed doors. So it's not the Democratic Party's fault <laughs> that Republicans have nominated arguably but again, the problem is not that he was doing drag. The left's problem with J.D. Vance doing drag is not that J.D. Vance was doing drag. It's that J.D. Vance was doing drag while being openly outwardly against drag in general. He's a hypocrite. That's the weird part. The most weird and <laughs> record than Pipler VP ever. It's a negative net territory. Look at that. Negative six points. I will tell you, Aaron, I have gone all the way back since 1980. Transitioning could have saved her. Guy, after immediately following a convention, a VP pick who actually had a net negative favorable rating. That is underwater. The average since 2000 is plus 19 points. J.D. Vance making history in the completely wrong way. <laughs> the Democrats have Get simply wrecked. found a golden opportunity and are now exploiting the shit out of it. This is an interesting video. I kind of like that it. I managed to find on Reddit. We need to bully these fucking weirdos. We need it's, it's a breath of fresh air to see a conservative who's not so deluded that they think that they're winning the culture war. Let's put it that way. That's why I'm, uh, that's why I'm like leaning a little bit favorably in this, about this video. It's like, it's honest. It's honest. You know, like it's, it's, it's honest and I can respect that. To remind them that they are losers i'd still like to, to talk to him hey uber soy if you're watching this i would love to have a discussion with you about your ideas i think you're an honest guy and i just want to talk i literally just want to talk amount of self-confidence they may have and put them back into submission they think it's okay for them to go around spewing their weird shit in spewing. public back in high school they would have been mocked and ridiculed and bullied relentlessly why calling Trump weird is freaking Republicans, probably freaking Republicans out. Digging up old trauma for their high school days of being relentlessly bu bullied for being weird. That's a good thing. We need to bully. Uh, no, no, I don't, eh, I don't know. This is a very, this is a very r slash, this is an r slash politics post through and through, for sure. And there would be no way for them to escape it. So they would learn to keep that shit to themselves and not bother other people. But now, when they're adults and think they can do whatever they want, we need to I just disagree. Still you know what I was made fun of for in, in middle school? For being gay. I wasn't gay. <laughs> but people called me gay. Like, that, like, everybody who bullied anybody else would call that other person gay. So that, that's just wrong. The Reddit post is literally just wrong. Little fucking losers. 
the ultimate goal is to bully them so hard they are afraid or are you know who the losers are the gay kids and the trans kids like the and when i say losers i'm i don't mean that derogatorily i mean in middle school and high school like those are the kids who are treated like losers and yeah and i, I was gay and i'm betting i wasn't called gay but i was oh nice Lucky you. Um, unfortunately, it's it's usually worse for guys to be gay. Like, it's just frowned upon more because lesbianism is fetishized and et cetera. Like, it's not good for lesbians either. Don't get me wrong. But, like, it's it's seen as, like, for guys, it's seen as, like, feminizing, which is, like, a bad thing. So, but, yeah, that's usually the people who are bullied. So, I just disagree with this post. I was made fun of for being a furry. Yeah, that's another one. Furries. Even though I wasn't, funnily enough, the bullying pushed me into the fandom. Nice. I was a pick-me by Republican. Nice are ashamed to vote or even okay, better, bully them into self-deletion. We need to get these weirdos out of the ballot boxes. Wait, what the f Bully them into- like, literally bullying them into killing themselves is what- is, is what this person is- f this person. This is disgusting. I hate liberals, That's man. That's how we win. And fuck liberals. let's not pretend that they aren't right or that they've chosen the wrong strategy. It is the weirdest thing to me. Democrats say that it is racist to believe. Well, they say it's racist to do anything. And redditors, yeah, fuck redditors. I had a diet Mountain Dew yesterday. And hey, I'm drinking that. Call that racist too, but. Wait, no, wait, no, I'm not drinking that. It's wait, good. no, never mind. <laughs> I, I, ch I, sorry, I'm not. I'm not drinking diet Mountain Dew. What was weird was his talking about diet. I'm not Mountain racist. Dew. Who, who drinks diet Mountain Dew? Have you ever seen the guy laugh? That seems very weird to me that a, that an adult can go through six and a half years of being in the public eye. If he has laughed, it's at someone. I do, in fact, someone. hate that, the Cleveland that is Browns. weird behavior. Weird and cultish. These are weird people on the other side. He kind of doubled down on his weird ideas. Kamala Harris's vice presidential pick it's true. compared to J.D. Vance is de facto the king of Riz. Just see it for yourselves. Like He's all right. the regular people I grew up with in the heartland, J.D. studied at Yale. He's right. His career funded by Silicon Valley billionaires. And then wrote a Show us the clip of Vance in a donut shop. Let's see. Oh, it was from this is from three weeks ago. He won't have that. Wait, he blamed the staff. Blames staff for disastrous donut shop visit. Oh my god, what a pussy. <laughs> it wasn't my fault that I was awkward. Sorry, now it's too loud. Okay, Thank yeah. you, Twitter. She, she, she doesn't want to be on film, guys, so just cut her out of anything. Appreciate that, man. Thank uh, you, Twitter. I'll give you a vice president. Let's see. Okay. Um, we're going to do two dozen. Okay. Yep. Yeah. We're well, just a you know, random sort of stuff here. Stop oh, being a weirdo. It's so hard to watch. They did not, in fact, cut her out. Wait, I thought they did. They literally have a video of cutting her out. I thought. Almost two years. Okay. Good. Dubsy, almost. blur her, please. Just everything. Yeah, it'll be a lot of glaze, tears, some sprinkle stuff, some of these cinnamon rolls, just whatever makes sense. Ma'am, yeah, if you don't want to be on film, you're okay. If you don't want to be on film, you're okay. okay. Yeah. How long has this place been around? About four years. They're employees. They wouldn't fucking know that. About four years? Okay. Okay, one of them knew it. How long have you been here? Uh, a little over six months. Okay. That's not a bad- Okay, that's not a bad question. Good. But then you gotta follow it up. How's it been? You know, what's it like? You like working here? Like, let's talk about it. Like, what, what, what do you like about work? What do you not like about working here? Like, let's be honest. If you want to talk about that, if you're comfortable talking about that, what, what could I do to improve your job here? You know, like, be a f person. Yeah, it's, uh, he has no follow-up. I didn't know if it had been here for 20 years or four years or, you know, you never know. Sometimes you drop in. No follow-up. Yeah, what are the good restaurants in the area? Something. Also, I gotta say, um, these donuts look like plastic. <laughs> I'll just be, I'm gonna be real. Oh, okay. Oh God, abysmal. Anyway, bestseller trashing that community. Come on, 
You yeah, know, sprinkles or That's anything. That's not what middle America is. And I gotta tell you, I can't back wait to the to Back to the Rizzler. The Rizzler. Get him, Timmy! Yeah, meanwhile. Somebody's got to make a side-by-side -side, uh, meme where you got um, JD Vance with like uh, like dopey music. It does. It adds so much to it, doesn't it? Versus the Chad. <laughs> it's perfect. It's perfect. That is if he's willing to get off the couch and show up. So. <laughs> See what I did there? Kamala Harris and her running mate are that the- Somebody make that, that's genius. ...equivalent of a popular kid in high school, why J.D. Vance is an equivalent of an autistic lonely incel who now is pretending that he's hey, don't do the autistics like that. while he's not. And people can see that. Tim Walls makes a difference. Only I can I make mean, fun of him. This is somebody I know from my years in the house. You couldn't ask for a more real guy. I mean, he's the guy that J.D. Vance pretends to be. His weird way of coping with you all of scoundrel this is walls. by projecting and calling Team Walls weird 24-7, but it's the same thing as no, you. calling a child weird. What's funny is I agree with 90% of what- like, I agree with this guy's analysis. I agree with his analysis, not his politics. It just doesn't- But like, here's the thing. I agree with his analysis. So like, maybe he can be saved? Hit me up, dude. Hit me up. We'll, we'll save you. We'll pull you over. I, I, I can pull this guy over. Stick. And so they're name calling instead of actually telling the American people how they're going to make their lives better. I think that's weird, Dana, but look, like, they can call me whatever they want. Like, has he actually ever sat down to think about why JD Vance might be coming off the way he is and why he's so disconnected? Like, maybe it's the fact that he studied at Yale and had like his whole way paved for him. Like, he has a little bit of history with drug addiction in his family, sure. But like, for the most part, he's just been handed a silver spoon, you know? Like, he hasn't had to actually struggle in his life. Not really. So, like, that's just a component of why he is the way he is. He's awkward. He's, he's standoffish. He doesn't know how to interact with people. He's, he, he's rizzless. And there's a reason for that. And it's not just because he's awkward. It's because he's a piece of shit. He doesn't actually care about anybody or anything except himself. To. You're saying Tim Walls doesn't have Bruh. affection for his wife? I don't even understand that. I said that he acted weird, which he did. Cringe alert. I agree. Stage in front of his wife and in front of millions of Americans who presumably were watching at home. And not only because J.D. Vance is a weirdo who can't help himself but be cringe, but also because a lot of people can see through him. Exactly. He strikes me as genuine. He strikes me as a very honest individual. Um, that's what I like. See that he does not have any coherent you, principles Hobbs. because he adopts the political attitude of the people he surrounds himself with and then projects it to others. Think about it. He started off as a communist, did drag, and thought that oh, he was shit. gay. He started I actually have never seen this image. That's crazy. He started off as a communist, did drag, and thought that he was gay, then used his rich friends and morphed into this Transitioning weird, could have saved her. right -hoid populist, never Trumper, who supported trans rights. How wild would it be if J.D. Vance came out as a trans woman? That would be nutty. Married an Indian woman and called Trump America's Hitler. He said some bad things about me, but that was before he knew me and then he fell in love. But then, somewhere in 2022, as soon as he ran for Senate, he suddenly started changing his rhetoric and grifting closer to Trump, according to his Jay trans friend. And nice. now he's supposed to be this base Catholic <laughs> chutzel reactionary who will enact the 2025 project, send women back into the kitchen, drink Mountain Dew, yes. spread his legs, and improve the demographic situation of the country. Okay, I empathize with the leg spread, not gonna lie. Even though Donald Trump couldn't be any more clear that they aren't actually doing that no but they are there's proof here you guys want evidence trump claims to not know who's behind project 2025 a cnn interview found at least 140 people who worked for him are involved so there's one 
co-author Russell. Here we go. Ah, here it is. Hidden camera video shows Project 2025 co-author discussing his secret work preparing for a second Trump term. Let's take a look. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. You are looking at secretly recorded video of Russell Vogt, a former cabinet member in the Trump administration. It's a little long, but this has been predominantly now getting ready for a year five of a Trump administration. We've got about 350 d different oh. documents that are regular. This is recent, by the way. That nature. Vote, the platform policy director for the Republican National Committee, says he is building the plan for Trump's second term. I don't know what the hell it is. It's Project 25. Trump publicly disavowed Project 2025, a conservative blueprint for his administration if he gets reelected. But in private, Vote said that's just politics. The details of the real plans are secret and based on Trump's own beliefs. Notwithstanding, I, I expect you to hear 10 more times from the rally, the president, you know, distancing himself from the left's boogeyman of Project 2025. Yeah. Um, and you're not worried about that? I'm not worried about it. And so I see huh. what he's doing is just very, very uh, conscious. Yeah, he said that's showbiz. Uh, distancing himself from a brand. He's very supportive of what we do. Uh, and, and, and know that we have an all manner of things that we do that's, you know, even unrelated to Project 2025. Sure. Vote has been Interesting that. Interesting. I think we've seen enough. So uh, what's up with that? What's the name again? What's up with that, Uber? So I answer that. I'd be interested to know what your thoughts on that are. No, none of that is ever going to Maybe happen. Maybe he hasn't seen that. Because he's fake and gay. Literally fake and actually gay. Everyone who isn't coping can see that and identify the Republican what? Party with its leadership. What, wait, what's this? What, what are we looking at right now? Is this... This isn't his, his wife, is it? Is this his wife? Why are we looking at this while talking about how J.D. Vance is gay? That's Nick Fuentes? Well, this is Nick Fuentes, but who's this? I don't know about you, but I cannot find a better word to describe all of this than- and Yeah, that was actual Nazi- actual Nazi Spencer? What? Yeah, the bottom right was Nick Fuentes, I understand that extremely weird and because people vote not on policy but on feelings get ready for our political so was he just okay so i'm confused why he was showing this let me go back because i he's talking about jd vance so i thought it was like jd vance's wife that he's showing hey, literally fake and actually gay everyone who isn't coping can see that and identify the republic okay here it just it says it right here i'm so stupid harmy dylan dylan Republican National Committee. Okay, never mind. It's it's not. I don't know why I thought it was Fuentes' wife. Republican Party with its leadership. Oh but why are we watching this? I just don't understand why we watch that except to be racist. Was the racism the point? The racism was the point, right? Yeah. Okay. That's why I was like, wait, is this JD Vance's wife? Because I I was looking for like a. I don't know. Anyway. I don't know about you, but I cannot find a better saying word Nick is to describe I don't all know. of this than extremely weird. And because people vote not on policy, but on feelings, get ready for our political establishment weaponizing these public opinion polls in which it will be gradually revealed that the Republicans are the party of weirdos and you wouldn't vote for a weirdo now, would you? The truth True. is that Don't they have for hit the nerve and it's just the beginning. Given Unless they're my words like creep, then vote for mean, them. nasty, stinky, and others will begin to be gradually. I want to explain girl speak for those unfamiliar. Stinky means generally bad, socially maladaptive behavior. Nasty means heightened aggression and poses great risk to social stability. Mean means strongly hostile and dangerous. Donald Trump is. Wait. Donald Trump is stinky. Donald Trump is mean in this context. He actually is hostile and dangerous. He, he's in the fucking Epstein flight logs. He has pictures with Epstein. He's a convicted. I, I can say that Donald Trump is a convicted. It was in uh what what's the court called? I can't remember. It, it was it was like in a, a small case court or whatever it's called. Civil court. It was in a civil court, but the acts described were. So Donald Trump is a. 
we introduced to define the political landscape and may even replace the old overused words like racists. And these words will be used disproportionately yeah, against overused. conservatives, as you would expect, to shame them out of their conservative beliefs. If you come on and have a discussion, it's a discussion. It's, we don't have to do a debate, just a discussion. We can try to figure out whether or not you are racist. I'm a former conservative myself, man. So I understand the, the, the jump that, you know, conservatives try to make to say, oh, I'm not racist, I'm not racist. I get it. But sometimes you just are a little bit racist. By presenting them as low status or socially so deficient we'll see. in other regards. Allegedly, don't get sued. No! It hap- no, no, no. I can say that. Here. Donald Trump civil court case. Sexual abuse. Awards accuser $5 million. The jury's rejection of the rape claim while finding Trump responsible for sexual abuse was perplexing and strange. But the acts described by the jury was rape. She said that she- she said that he put his fingers inside of her, right? That's rape. We can all agree that's rape, right? I, I don't want to stick on this too long because I feel disgusting talking about it, but like, I, that is rape. And I define that as rape. So I feel that I am justified and I'm sorry for all the censoring dubs he's gonna have to do. I feel I'm justified in saying that that is rape. He could still sue you? Okay, he can try. I'm not saying allegedly. It can only be pushed back by a status damaging equivalent. But before we do that, we must ensure that the Pull beliefs up, and behaviors of our opponents are indeed associated with low status, which is hardly feasible on a collective scale without enacting a long march through institutions, which is unfortunately not what. Hold on, I gotta go back. I, sorry, low I got distracted. Status, which is hardly feasible on a collective scale without enacting a long march through institutions, which is unfortunately not what the president right toward the establishment is trying to achieve. You know, you're really beautiful. The spoof was filmed 16 years ago when Giuliani was married oh, yeah, I remember New York this. for a charity dinner. So it was yeah, all any penetration counts. Oh, you dirty boy, you. Oh, oh. Rancid. Absolutely rancid. Uh, but yeah, I do agree with his analysis, unironically. Um, Uber Soy, uh, maybe I'll hit you up. If you want to come on sometime and have a little discussion about, uh, your politics, I'd love to, uh, dig into it. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you want to see more, hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload. If you uh, enjoy my content, you enjoy what I do, I really appreciate any financial help that I can get. Go to youtube.com slash TTV slash join. You got some awesome benefits such as seeing early videos, awesome emotes that you can use in the comments of YouTube videos, and a sweet badge next to your name. So if that sounds interesting to you, I'd really appreciate if you join. It is cheaper than the cost of a blowjob from your mom. So with all that being said, thank you again for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.